I didn't think it was possible to feel rusty talking to a camera, but uh, what's going on everybody? So, I got you set up on the E30 real quick. Today we're doing a bunch of different stuff. I got a lot of stuff to talk about, but um, I'm aware I was uh, gone for about two weeks. I'm sorry, I apologize. I told you guys I was gonna uh, continue the uploads. Family stuff came up, vacation came up, a whole lot of stuff came up. So, and the weather was bad. So a lot was going on and I just, I didn't have anything to film at the time. But um, that is changing now. The weather has finally broke. We're finally uh, seeing some spring weather. So I'm outside in a hoodie. It's about uh, it's like 50 degrees today. This week's gonna be like 60s. And then I think it's gonna drop back down, but it doesn't matter, that's not the point. Anyway, weather's nice. So you know what that means? The cars are gonna be coming out soon. And I'm really excited because all the cars are getting changed. Almost all the cars. But that's where I wanna take this video. This video, we're gonna check up on all the cars. We're gonna see how everything's doing. I'm gonna to go to all my, my storage spots, check them out, run you guys through what's gonna change on those cars and stuff. Uh, so it should be fun. And then um, I got a bunch of videos lined up already. So we're gonna be getting right into things. So to start off with the E30, um, last you guys saw, I fitted the wheels and all that stuff. So here she is chilling, laid out in the garage. Oh, I have the video, I'm in the process of filming. I'm in the process of getting parts. But the brakes locked up on this thing. You guys will see that later this week. I'm hoping I can get it out Friday. Um, if not, I'll try to do it Saturday, whatever. Uh, but anyway, booster broke. Got to replace that. Exhaust. Zach is about ready to do the exhaust for me. Uh, a week or two, we'll be getting this thing in for the exhaust. So that'll be pretty cool. And then, uh, and then we should be driving this thing. We should be ripping it. Everything else is taken care of besides the booster and the exhaust. Once that's done, this thing's solid, ready to go. So right now, it's kind of just a storage shelf. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned. The next video will be the E30 video. Then we got the 540 chilling outside. I finally got it uncovered. If you guys, uh, I don't think you've seen it, but I haven't showed it. But we had like two months of you know snow and crap, obviously winter, and I kind of lost track of time, and this thing ended up being under a cover for two and a half months. So battery was dead. It was sitting here forever. But um, I have a lot, a lot of stuff to do to this thing. So right after I finish working on the E30, I'm gonna put this thing up, get the trans out. Like I said, I gotta do the clutch, throw bearing, drive shaft stuff, all that jazz. We're gonna do that. I gotta get a hood, a fender, a door. I gotta get the roof painted. Uh, I gotta get a new passenger seat, rear deck, windows tinted. Uh, I got my wheels. I ordered wheels for this thing. I ordered some JDM three-piece wheels. I'm getting them custom built from VR. Those should be shipped out next week. So in the next coming weeks, we'll be fitting those. Super excited about that. I think you guys will like it. It'll be very cool. Uh, something different for sure, just like the E30. But you guys know me and my stance desires. So a lot, a lot of stuff to do to this thing. Like a lot. I'm taking this thing to the vintage in May. So if you guys are going to be there. I'll see you there. But um I have a lot of work to do in I think the 10 weeks that I have before the vintage happens. So I'm gonna be busting on that thing. Uh, so much to do to it. So tons of videos on that thing. And then come over in the garage and we'll see here, we got some barren shells, some big barren shell tires. Um, these are the E46 on threes tires and you guys will notice there's no TE37s in here. I'll get into that when I go to the E46. That's where we're gonna head next. But uh, I sold the TEs, sorry to disappoint. Uh, I'm sorry to myself, because I didn't even want to sell them, but I will run you guys through that when I get to the E46, then we're gonna check on the E36, then we're gonna check on the uh, turbo car, that's a bit of a drive, we're gonna run out there. A lot of stuff to talk about, uh, about each car, and I just wanna check on them for my own sake, so I figured I'll make a video on that. All right, our first stop of the trip, so we're at the E46 M3, uh, so yeah, she's under the cover. Uh, usually this thing stays uh, stored the longest just because I really try to ensure that it is uh, good weather. Um, but uh, yeah, so this thing is getting new wheels like I told you guys uh, when I showed you guys the old uh, tires. Um, I didn't want to sell the TEs, but they were, if you guys don't know, which I don't think you would know because I don't think I mentioned it. They're 5x114.3 and I actually ran adapters and... You know, they were nice adapters. I never had any issues, but I was getting really, really sick of having that thought in the back of my head of that one extra thing that could fail. So I kind of just decided I'll list them up. I literally listed them up for, you know, for what I wanted. And I was like, all right, let's see. Uh, Nothing anyone would hit me up. I had a guy who hit me up the same day and was like, yo, I need those. So he tried to, he tried to get them for cheaper. I was like, nah. So he ended up paying full asking. So I was like, all right, I'll let him go. And I'll just buy a set that is 5x120 because I want to ditch the adapters because I just want to run true bolt pattern on my E46. But um, it was really hard to get rid of those because I really love those and I, it's hard to top them. 
but uh, that the adapter thing just killed it for me. So anyway, I was gonna get another set, but I found a pair on uh, or a set of wheels on IG through a couple uh, through a couple guys, and uh, I think I found a set that I want. So right as of right now, I'm waiting for him to get me a shipping quote. He'll get it Monday. Uh, it's Saturday, so this thing may be getting CCWs. Um, so I don't want to you know promise it because things could change up, but. I found some nice CCWs, perfect E46 fitment. So uh, I'll probably be going with those. If not, probably find a set of lighter colored TE37s. Or if anything, you know, special pops up, but we'll see. That's pretty much the only change that the E46 is gonna get. I would like to uh, get some softer spring rates because I'm sick of the 16, 18K that are on there because that's the Stancy spring rates and doesn't need that anymore. But um, the CCWs, if I get those, which are three piece, I'll probably still stay like track fitment stance. Like I probably won't slam it or anything because I do like to drive it. And I don't want to get rid of the uh, good driving ability. Uh, so it might be a little lower, a little more of a stretch of the tire simply because I want to reuse my tires on a little bit wider of wheels. But it's not going to be anything crazy. So this year I'll probably end up keeping the spring rates, but uh, we'll see. Aside from that, you know, maintenance, uh, I really still got to do the cooling system on this car, but... If we get there, we get there. But yeah, she's chilling, just tucked away, uh, safe and sound. Probably pull this thing out by April. Uh, you know, like I said, we're having an early spring, so we'll see. All right, and we're at the next location here. So let me just go ahead and get that off. And lift this heavy door, and here is the E36's home that is covered with crap. So uh, I keep the E36, and I have a storage unit close to my house. Uh, it's extremely taxed, but I needed it because I need a home for the E36 and I need to put all my spare crap So you can see here. I got the Calypso's tires. I actually forgot these were here uh, Since I got rid of the Imparallels because the Calypso's getting new wheels. I'll get into that when I get to the Calypso But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's check up on it. Oh, I almost pull off my lip So yep, there's the E36 still got it. Don't worry didn't sell it um, and it's on beautiful stock contours the only car that this year, I don't think we'll be getting anything new done to it. Um, obviously, maintenance as it as it you know comes up and stuff. And I'll drive it. I'll take you guys on some drives and stuff. So there, there'll be E36 content, but uh, you know I'm not switching up anything as far as suspension, wheels. I'm not you know doing anything crazy. The engine, turbo, nothing like that. Um, the E36 is in my mind, it's pretty perfect. Uh, the BBSs are pretty hard to top that are on there. So uh, she'll probably be staying the same, uh, you know, more or less. We'll see the E36 within the next couple weeks, I'm, I'm guessing, because uh, this is one of those cars that, you know, she can come out and if I see bad weather, I'll just drive it right back over here and pop it in the storage unit. So, uh, usually this is one of the earlier cars I pull out for the past two years I've had it. So, uh, expect to see this real soon. I'll probably make videos pulling all these cars out, getting all the wheels on and all that stuff. So, you guys will see this thing shortly. So, we're back in the car. I actually brought the suction mount with me for this, for this very purpose. Uh, hopefully the sun is not uh, blasting somewhere stupid. But uh, we're on the long trek to go uh, go see the Calypso. But I had a few updates along the way. So first off, this video is on my GoPro per usual. But I actually am buying a new camera. Uh, I told myself that if things you know were going good on YouTube after a year, I'd I'd upgrade the equipment, and uh, that is just what I'm gonna do. Stu has a nice Canon G7 Mark II, which is what all the all the big you know vloggers use and stuff. So he doesn't want it. He's gonna give it to me for a decent price. So I'm gonna pick that up, so I'll have a new camera, so for all the um, close-up stuff, you know, uh, all that important stuff, I'll have a zoom now, uh, it'll be nicer quality. I'm super stoked about that, because my main issue with the GoPro is the fact that it doesn't have like a zoom or like a focus, it kinda just gives you everything. While it does give you everything in good uh, good quality, it's I, I, I'd rather like blur out background stuff so I can zoom in on close-up of parts and stuff to show you guys, so, we're gonna have that. So I'll still have the GoPro for driving, POV, like this, what I'm doing right now. And then, you know, maybe some time-lapse stuff, but we're gonna have a nice camera. So I'm stoked about that. So I can't wait to start filming with that thing when I pick it up this weekend. And then aside from that, I know I mentioned, especially in the Q&A, you know, the next build after the wagon has been gone. And I mentioned the E24, I mentioned, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I have since then made the, um, the conscious decision that rather than dumping all my money into another car and then kind of having to half-ass everything else, meaning like, you know, not have all the money in the world to modify everything else, like wheels and stuff, I was like, I'm gonna wait on a car and I'm gonna take the wagon money and better all the current builds, meaning 
uh, E46 is getting new wheels, the 540 got nice wheels, the Calypso is getting wheels, the Calypso is actually getting a lot of goodies. Uh, I actually bought a turbo for the Calypso. I'll, I'll wait till I get there to, to tell you guys about everything, but the Calypso is getting basically majorly overhauled this year. There is going to be a lot of stuff done to the Calypso. So I wanted money for all that. I need money to get the E30's exhaust made. I had a lot of, and all the work that needs to be done to the 540. So I had a lot of cars that need a lot of stuff and a lot of expensive stuff. And I figured I'm sick of the Imperilos. So I sold those off from the E34, if you guys were aware. Ditched those, wanted to buy something nice. I wanted the 540 to have something nice. Uh, so yeah, so there will not be another like build, like permanent car coming for a, a little while. But that's still, I'm gonna probably have, you know, in between cars, you know, cars that I, I wanna, you know, cars that need a lot of work for, for content. So, I'll, you know, whatever I pop up cheap and stuff, I'll buy it, fix it up for content and for myself and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna go out and buy like a Mint E24 right now because I'd rather have that money to throw into the other cars. Um, and it just space right now is, is tight. So I'll probably wait on an E24 until I get rid of the, uh, well, I don't wanna say until I do because I don't know if I will, but the E30 may or may not stay long, we'll see. Uh, like I said, I really have to experience it and enjoy it. So, like I said, I think I will really like it and I probably won't wanna get rid of it, but I'm gonna at least keep it for this whole season and then kind of go from there. Um, you know, I'd, I'd rather an E24 over an E30 if I'm being honest, but if the E30 turns out to be a really cool drift car and I get really into drifting and stuff, then maybe I'll hold on to it. Uh, 540 I plan on keeping, but you know, we'll see. Between those two cars, those are the first to go out of the collection, obviously. So one of those is gonna have to go before I go ahead and buy an E24 and another build and stuff. So I just wanna let you guys know I have made that decision. So there will not be a E24 build coming, but there will still be cars in between as I find them and stuff. The market right now is really dry, but two updates I wanna give you guys, you know, uh, just let you guys know, but a lot of the cars are getting a lot of love that I have been, that they have been deserving for a long time now. All right, we finally made it. Now comes the time of where I have no idea which of these is mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a shot. Oh, no, it's not that one. Actually, I think I have a mark on my lock. Yep, this is me. All right. Nice. Key works. I had to remember to bring the truck keys because that's where I have it. But, oh man. For, for a second, I thought it wasn't in here. I just freaked out. Oh my God. I parked it so far back. I literally, I opened the door and didn't see it and I just freaked out. But, um, nice. There's a dead bug on there. Cool. So, yeah, as you can see, she didn't get a cover. Um, I, you know, this paint, whatever, and uh, I didn't have any spare covers. I got an oil thing. Let's see if she's leaking anything. Um, I would say those are not fresh. Uh, those may have been on this cardboard prior. Uh, otherwise, it stopped leaking because it's totally soaked up. So that's cool. Not not mad about that, but um, no mice in here. No. Nice. I got my steelies on. You can see this thing looks clean steel wool in the exhaust hopefully no mice in here good but uh you know i almost kind of wish i brought the battery and the keys and i probably would have taken this thing for a couple of rips out here but uh it's on really bad wheels so and tires but uh yeah so anyway calypso is getting a absolute ton of stuff done to it so i'm ditching the whole set this thing is max for power and is just way out of its efficiency range at this boost I'm pushing. So Zach ordered me a uh, big old 69 millimeter Borg, uh, got me a nice discount with uh, through his uh, work. So we're getting a big old Borg put on her with a .88 AR exhaust housing. So this thing is gonna, the turbo setup will be good for 800 horsepower. We're not going to 800, but I would like to see 550 wheel this year. Um, it kind of just depends what the tuner where he says he wants to go with it. Uh, I know the engine will do, I know the engine will do 500 wheel reliably. 600 is uh, kind of pushing it for, without rods and pistons, but um, we'll see. So I don't, I'm not gonna promise you guys any horsepower numbers because I don't really know, but I know that with that turbo, it'll be more efficient. So the car will be making more power at a lower boost. For example, right now I'm, I'm doing 26, 27 PSI and I'm making about 421 wheel on a Mustang. So that's about 500 crank right around there. Um, but that is absolutely pushing that turbo. 
and that power, given it's a low compression setup, uh, I should be seeing 421 wheel on a dyno at a little bit lower than 26. 26 is kind of high. So with the with the Borg, I'm hoping to be making you know 420 at like 18 or something like that. Well, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know all that world. I'll discuss as that goes on. But aside from the turbo. You guys see here, I've mentioned the ugly piping and the intercooler is just blasting out of the front. That is all going to get redone. So I'm going to be running a stock bumper again. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the Alpina stuff. I'm going to hold on to this. Don't worry. But uh, it's chopped up. The piping is just hideous. I'm, at first, I didn't care because it was right after the accident when I got it done. So I told the fabricator, just do what you got to do. But it bothers me. It's uneven. And the turbo is kind of fabricated right into the intercooler piping. This will all be different. So then this will change. So we're gonna run it all goofy different. So I'm probably gonna get a new intercooler as well, a more efficient one. And I'm probably gonna tuck it right under this core support. You can maybe see how much space I have there. So uh, we're gonna tuck it in there. Gonna have to chop up some of the core support, but it'll be shorter routing, which will be nice. And then it'll be hidden away, stock bumper again. It'll be super pretty. And then we're probably gonna have to, probably gonna have to uh, update uh, all this I'm really hoping that I didn't think about it I hope my exhaust housing isn't too big for where this manifold puts it I hope I don't have to do a whole manifold on this car But we'll get there when we get there that I just thought about that and now I'm uh, kind of nervous But we're probably gonna have to adjust the uh, downpipe a tad bit and then since all this will be different uh, Probably gonna end up redoing the the uh, recirc and putting it further downstream because if you've noticed it goes kind of up But towards the turbo which is not ideal it probably isn't causing me issues, but it's not ideal. So probably have Zach redo that and send her that way. I don't really want to dump it. I think that's kind of obnoxious. So new turbo, new intercooler piping, a little bit of fabrication work here. Aside from that, engine-based stuff, maybe do an E-fan and ditch the clutch fan that doesn't really work because I got to get this thing cooler. It runs a little hot. So I'm stoked about that. We're going to make it more power this year. But on top of that, I got the 346 LSD, which is a little too short for my liking. So Dakota actually has a 323 LSD, which is what I, I really want. Um, you know, the lower the better on a boosted car that makes decent power. So, I, you know, ideally like a 2.9 something would be even better, but you can't really find those in a medium case. And I don't really want to do the whole swapping uh, uh, internals and housings and all that crap. So I'm going to go ahead and straight trade Dakota my 346 for his 323. So I'll get a little extra RPM there, a little uh, higher speed, which will be nice. Um, and then on top of that, I got this, the uh, softer springs I told you guys about. We're going to be putting on softer springs, doing front brakes. And then I actually just bought last night new wheels for this thing. So I told you guys I ditched the M parallels. And uh, we're going to be on some uh, some OZ Mitos. I, uh, I wanted to keep it a secret, but I guess I'll just let you guys know. But uh, yeah, one of the E34 homies had a set of Mitos laying around. 17, I wanted 18, but I kind of thought about it. Once I'm ditching this Alpina lip, uh, the front bumper obviously won't hang as low so I could go a little bit lower to the ground because the E34 is probably not easy to see because it's on these 16 inch 15 inch stocks but it sits kind of high so we're going to be on OZ Mitos I got to repolish them and stuff there will be videos on all that I'm super that is probably one of my favorite wheels to put on one of these cars like I have had that in my mind for a long time so I'm really really excited that I found those uh, he hooked me up on them uh, they need a little work they need a little love eventually if I step them to 18 we'll see but I think 17 will be decent with a little bit of a fatter tire. But yeah, this thing, she's getting all new turbo stuff, all new diff, all new wheels, uh, all new springs. I'm stoked. It's going to drive so good. I mean, more efficient. It's going to be a smoother ride on the springs and, you know, a better ratio diff. So a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to do to the Calypso this year as well. I'm going to have really have my work set out for me this year, I, I realize. Uh, I got a lot of stuff that these cars need, so... Uh, I'm super excited. I cannot wait to pull this thing out and drive it again. The turbo stuff will probably not happen till I want to say April, May, uh, just with Zach's schedule. I did buy the turbo, so it's on the way, so that's going to kind of uh, motivate us. But yeah, I, I just, I'm, I'm in Zach's will right there for when he can get to it. So when he can get to it, he can get to it. I'm not going to rush him. But it should be able to get done before summer as long as, you know, things don't go kind of wacky. But that's not like the top of my like list of priorities just because it, it'll run and drive perfectly fine on the setup that it's on now. So I'm not even mad. So yeah, I think we're going to call it there out here in the uh, the boonies with my E34. Um, thank you guys for sticking around. Sorry to leave you guys, like I said, hanging like that. Not telling you guys what's going on. But uh, yeah, stuff came up. But uh, anyway, stay tuned. A lot to come. Super excited to get all the cars out. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you probably this Friday or Saturday uh, once I start working on the E30 if I can finish that job between school stuff. So I should have some time. So I'll see you again later this week. No more of this one week, uh, one video a week bull crap. That should change. So I'll see you guys in the video after this. Peace out.